Hi, I'm Frank Notaf, Chief Economist of CoreLogic. Our CoreLogic Home Price Index for the U.S. grew 6.5% over the 12-month period through June 2015, but the price growth was not uniform across the country. Some cities, like Denver, Naples, and San Francisco, had double-digit appreciation, while others, such as Baltimore, Boston, and New Orleans, had prices remain stagnant or decline. Let's take a look at some of the drivers that affect price growth across cities. A local housing market reflects an interplay of demand and supply forces over time. And while it may be difficult to directly measure those forces, we do observe the end results, the number of home sales and the transaction prices. Over the past year, we have seen several factors that have stimulated housing demand. First, mortgage rates for 30-year fixed rate loans remained at or below 4% for much of the year. Second, household income was supported by the labor market, adding 3 million jobs across the nation. Third, consumer confidence rose to the most optimistic level in eight years. These three factors worked to boost the number of households shopping to buy homes, that is, the demand side for buying homes. Turning to the supply, or number, of homes offered for sale, that inventory has remained relatively lean. To compare recent years with previous periods, we measure the for-sale inventory relative to the size of the U.S. housing stock. Examining the period since the early 1980s, the last three years have been the longest stretch of lean for-sale inventory that has occurred in our country. That's not to say that the number of homes offered for sale is relatively low in every market. Looking across the U.S., some cities have an extraordinarily low for-sale inventory, measured in month's supply at the recent sales pace. Throughout the U.S., the month's supply was 5.9 months in the CoreLogic home listing data during April, but varied greatly across cities. In San Jose and Denver, there was only one month's supply of homes on the market, whereas Philadelphia had a nine-month supply and Providence a ten-month supply. Cities with a low supply of homes on the market tend to experience relatively short days on market before sale and register faster home price growth, and conversely for cities with a large supply of homes for sale. For example, most sales in San Jose and Denver during April were homes that had been listed less than 10 days earlier, and the home price appreciation April to April was 11% or better. Contrast that with Philadelphia and Providence where most homes had been listed more than 100 days before selling and where annual home price growth was only 1%. Looking forward to the next 12 months, we expect additional supply from new construction and higher prices for existing homes to lead to an increase in the for-sale inventory. In addition, mortgage rates may rise over the next year and dampen demand. Putting the demand and supply pieces together implies that the growth in the U.S. Home Price Index will continue but at a slower pace than last year. We project a 4.5% rise over the coming year, a slowing from the 6.5% growth over the prior year.